Hi, my name is Case, and I help people from doing to being. And today I'm here with another video um, about uh, a common trap for sensitive people, and that's actually the chameleon effect. Um, and chameleon effect is actually where you're adjusting yourself to any situation um, because you're sensitive in a way, you can adjust yourself and you know how to adjust yourself. Okay, so that's the chameleon effect where you actually like the chameleon changing colors all the time. So, um, yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> that's the chameleon effect. And what happens is, um, and um, let's start with an example because uh, it's something I see with a lot of sensitive people and uh, I'm a sensitive person myself. And as a kid, um, I learned that different people uh, have different ways of going about things. Different people have different preferences and they talk about things in a different way and they like certain things in a, in a certain way. And what that taught me uh, or what um, I uh, took away from that is this is a sort of manual for, uh, for how this person works, but also how to be their friend, you know, how to be liked by them. And what I wanted as a young kid, but also um, in my teenage years, but also in my, especially I think still early 20s, um, is to be liked, is to be popular, is to be cool. And that came from uh, lots of reasons, from not spending too much time with my dad when I was young, to um, I think one of the biggest was uh, not being so popular in school and I had, to, I had the idea that I was bullied a lot I think in uh, I think it made a little bit more impact on me being a sensitive kid than that I was actually bullied I think I was more um, just teased I think I was teased a lot and, and also was not popular, <laughs> but I wasn't really bullied hard or something like that, but I took it really as bullying. So from that came my desire to be, to have lots of friends and to be really popular and to be cool and things like that. And also adjust myself in a way where people would think I was cool. And I started really mastering this when I was about 15 years old or something like that. I really learned to adjust myself to whomever was in front of me so I can, could yeah, basically get their approval and be their friends and be popular and be cool and things like that. And for some, especially for guys, that's, that's sort of uh, that you're able to tease other people and you're be, being cool and being a little bit macho or things like that. Um, but that's, it's also specific. It, it could be, you know, talking about things that that person likes mm, like you really like that as well but you don't really like that but you're pretending <laughs> you're, you're pretending because you actually want a good relationship with that person and you're feeling that this is the way you would actually do it and that way i think i've built relationships with some people who were not really a match for me and uh I don't think the, those people were really my friends long term, but it, it was more sort of short term uh, popular talk, you know. And I also I think I used it as well to, you know, to be popular with girls and things like that. So um, in general, <laughs> uh, this is something I've seen from other sensitive people as well that they learned from from you know their own experience from their sensitivity but also to use that sensitivity to be liked and to be um, popular and things like that and actually it's not helpful because what it teaches you is to be unreal to be not yourself and also this is something for people that are actually insecure and have lower self-worth um, sometimes this happens because sensitive people are um, have more the have even more the idea that they're special because they can sense things, um, which comes from the word sensitive, which 
uh, it's not weakness, no, it's sensing. So uh, through that sensing, we actually can be insecure because other people might not sense this. And because we can sense certain things, we can um, feel even we can feel insecure what we're sensing, and also we can start feeling insecure about you know being different or being special. Or uh, I think so. For some people, it might you know it might um, it might result in arrogance as well. But for me, especially when I was younger, I, it resulted more in insecurities and also that combined with some of the conditioning I picked up over the years um, I had I think st still till I was about 28 I had the habit of adjusting myself um, and that habit slowly deteriorated now I'm 32 and I think in the last couple of years I've really um, master being one person in in a whole sense of different crowds so always being real not saying uh i'm always a thousand percent uh telling you know everything about myself i'm not coming in like hey i'm a sensitive person and i do this i do that and i'm a spiritual teacher and i do youtube and blah blah now i I go about it in a very relaxed way, but if somebody asks me, you know, what do you do, then they get the story, and then I'll be real. Um, and if they ask me what I like, I will talk about the things that I like. So, um, I'll not be dishonest, and <laughs> I won't be adjusting myself in a way that's unreal. So sometimes I might... Uh, not tell people the whole story because I think, well, maybe they get triggered by that. Um, but I do, um, uh, I do always be, am honest. So I'm, I'm always honest because, um, and I used to have a big problem with that. I was, uh, like, back in high school, I was, I had this habit of sort of uh, making things up and and. Uh, using little white lies and things like that to be cooler, you know. Uh, and some of my good friends, they they caught me on some of those and, and made fun of me as well because, yeah, it was really stupid, of course, and I shouldn't have done it. So it was really good. It was life telling me, you know, stop doing this. It's, it's just not necessary. It's just from your own insecurity. So um, this is my personal experience. But again, if you're sensitive you can use that, that sensitivity to, um, to be a fake person for the person which you're, which you're seeing, for your partner, uh, pleasing, pleasing your partner. Uh, it could be your boss. It could be, you know, different types of people, um, especially people you wanted to maybe impress or you want to think that you're cool and things like that. Um, and... It's a common trap and it's something to be aware of because what happens is actually when you start being honest and when you start telling the whole story and when you start being real and not adjusting yourself to every person, maybe understanding, okay, this is not the story I want to tell them. You know, you can be a little bit strategic uh, about who you tell what story or what, um, let's say, what version of the story. But always tell a story that's honest and always tell the thing that's real for you. Because otherwise, uh, uh, yeah, you're, you're, if they give a positive response, what you've just learned is it's good to be fake. And that's a terrible thing to have. I've, I've had that, that, that uh, yeah, you know, that, that idea a lot. And what, 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 what I've learned over the years by being more honest and working on myself is that actually, if I'm honest, people like me more because they feel my, my confidence, they actually appreciate my honesty, they appreciate my openness, they, um, they like the fact, they feel the fact that I'm not fake, that I'm not trying hard. Um, and actually, you get more... I think you get more real friends, you know, the, 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 the people that like you <laughs> after you're really honest for a long time, those are the people that like you for you. And that's, 
otherwise you starve yourself from real confidence, from real love, and also, um, I would say you're maybe not even loving yourself enough if you think you need it, need to 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 be fake or need to uh, tell white lies or you know blow things up or make things up or uh, act like you really like something which you don't. Um, yeah. So, with my coaching clients, I see this as well, that this is a, a, common, a common trap. Uh, and uh, a lot of sensitive people are coming to me and talking to me about sensitivities and, you know, the things they're experiencing. And I'm picking up on their sensitivities as well. Uh, and oftentimes, the conversation comes to, uh, comes to a sort of point where we start talking about being real. Uh, and not, um, yeah, not 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 trying so hard, and not trying to adjust yourself to other people, and that's what I um, would like. That feeling of not having needing or wanting to adjust yourself. That that's but but being true, being honest. That's something which I hope for you can be realized as well. So if you start experimenting with this, because if you hear this and you recognize the chameleon effect and you changing colors all the time with different people, which costs a lot of energy as well, and not being as real as you can, um, if you recognize yourself in that and it resonates, then I would love for you to start thinking what is a safe environment for you to be more real in, to start practicing being real and start practicing talking about uh, your negative feelings but also um, about how you really feel about things so yeah that's um, that's something I would love to to be talking uh, uh, to you about so if you have any questions about this concept the chameleon effect or how it um, enters your life Feel free to leave me a comment or send me an email. Uh, I'll leave my email address uh, in the contact details of this uh, channel. And um, I hope this video helps you. I'm still evolving and I would love to evolve together. So thanks for your time and uh, have a great day. Ciao.